Hi, welcome everyone. This is um, just an update on how we're getting on um, and all the progress we're making. So it's been about a week and a half and uh, our deadline for getting ready for the holiday is fast approaching. Um, and the wife's going to kill me if I don't get this sorted. But here we go. Um, we've got a BF Goodyear all-terrain tyre. These are KO2s. And they're 245, 75, 16. And I've, I've kind of gone down the road of what everybody else has done on their recommendation. And that includes the size. Now, the size fills the arches out lovely. Really well. Full lock, doesn't catch. Not a problem. Um, they, they go down the road really well. They're really, really stable. Um, you get no wallowing. No, nothing like you had before um, and they kind of look mean and aggressive and when you go abroad across the continent they're all trying to I see you covered in that respect um, I'm really really pleased with them we've referred the wheel to the satin because they were silver before so now we've got a satin finish so that looks better um, yeah I think we're I think we're on schedule for getting ready for the holiday but let me show you the inside now and the modifications we've done inside. So uh, I'll show you how much progress we've made. Okay, I'll take you in. Okay, we're on the inside of the van. Um, I want to do a bit more about the wheels on the outside that I've just done. Um, just to explain a few more details of some of the problems we had. We didn't have any problems, but just go through a few more details. Now, we've we've done a little bit more. Yes, we're, we're, we're getting to the stage where um, we're kind of doing the little details, which is pulling everything together. Um, I've also got the garage area to do, which is a bit like a man cave, and we can take fantastic pleasure as a bloke fitting out that area. Now, I've got to put a water tank in there. I've got to uh, build over the arches and build the tray for the batteries. Um, and you've kind of got to make little areas for putting your bits and pieces in, like the uh, kayak, the blow kayak and bits and pieces and the awning and, and kind of make it an area that's uh, useful space that you can just grab stuff, put it back to where it's got to go and all the rest of it. So we're going to do that and I'll, I'll be filming that as well. So I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a video on that process. There's been quite a few changes here. Um, not major changes. You're not going to see massive stuff. Um, but there is some stuff that's been done. Uh, primarily cupboard doors and bits and pieces like that. But I'll show you that in a sec. A little bit on the wheels. Now, I showed you the wheels. I'm really, really happy with the wheels. They make the vehicle so stable as it drives down the road. The, wheel, the original size of the tyres look too small for the vehicle now everyone has this on sprinters and vw uh, crafters and the wheels look just a little bit too small those fill out the arches much better and i know you can go for 17s um, which would have been an extra cost because i would have had to have purchased the alloy wheels and then had the tires put onto it uh, and I, I, I we already had alloys on there and i thought we for the alloys we had which were quite good alloys, but they were 16s. Put a, a higher ridge wall on there, and the good ridge tyres. Filled out the arches lovely. Um, we've been in some situations where we have been stuck a little bit, and that will stop that scenario happening. Um, at, they're, they're better looking tyre, um, uh, so that helps with the look of the van. Um, the one thing you've got to take into account is even though it's a 16 your wheel will your wheel will still not sit under the carriage it will not sit under the carriage because the tire's too big so you've got to you've got to work out where you're going to put it you can put it on an outside carriage which we can't do because we've got a, a cycle rack on the back um, or you can um, put it in the garage area which we happen to have so that works out well so anyway, let me take the camera 
and I'll walk through all the little jobs we've done uh, to improve this vehicle as a whole. So give you some idea of the jobs I've kind of caught up with. Like for instance, straight away, you can see a bit of a cupboard here that didn't quite exist a week ago, but miraculously, it's there. Right, so the first the first job we did, let me just take a seat here. Um, the first job we did here was we put we put the um, uh, TV mount up by the shelf there. Um, I kind of thinking we had to put it somewhere, even that isn't the best place to put it. But um, if we're travelling down the motorway, the kids can sit in these seats here. And we can put a DVD on and they can watch that and that will entertain them for a bit. It's not the perfect position, but in reality, the way the van is, and you're always going to have problems locating the TV bracket to where it's comfortable. But like you've seen in previous videos, we've got two TV mounts, so this is one of two. So that's that section. So... Um, if I take you across here, so those were the original cupboards, so nothing's changed there. That little pocket there with the controller for the for the um, solar is original. Now those two cupboards there, well those three cupboards you can you can see and know. So we took we took a locker cupboard out of that area, and we we kind of wanted to build a cupboard that would take plates, so that hence the middle cupboard um, that will take the height of plates um, this one is going to be for coffee tea coffee that kind of thing so that's that's kind of perfect for that situation that works for that one this one is the one for the plates because it's taller oh we've got a plate in there so uh, that kind of gives you an indication um, we going to determine um, what height to put a shelf in there because we're going to put a little half shelf in there as well just to make the, it more usable in that area so that's that one now this one this one we, we're not going to put a door on this and I might have mentioned that before um, I had to do some really really fine scribing into the ceiling there because the ceiling doesn't sit completely square that was, uh, that was fine so we've put a middle shelf there and it literally is going to be a reaching cupboard, really convenient reaching cupboard if you're in the bed area or on you, if you're on this side and things like jeans and jumpers and things like that and you can just, towels, you just reach in and grab them. So that's the idea of that. Right, you've, I've showed you the bed area before. Um, what I will show you is the base, we've done the base. Now we've got to just rub it down and varnish it, but with uh, it's 18 mil ploy. We did it in two sections in the end for taking it down. Um, we've put the vents in uh, that will uh, vent the mattress and um, it also reduces the weight because we want to get the weight down. So that's that section done. Right, garage door. Let's step back a bit. There's the garage door, so that's a garage door there, so that's exactly how we wanted it. So if you remember, we had a small motorbike in that area, um, six foot long, and if I needed to, I could poke a front wheel into there that helps you carry a bike. I'd probably, if, I, if I'm being honest, for transportation, um, probably be a little scooter something like that so that's that done that works this kitchen pod is going to change but i don't think it's going to change for the holiday um i want to do a unit with some drawers in i want it to be a bit more sophisticated and just simple doors on there which we've got at the moment our fridge is going to set further back um, so uh, we're probably going to lose a little bit of surface area um, 
But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a tray that will sit on here. All right, so this is quite, this is above waist height, obviously, but you can lean over and you can chop and prep. So you use it as a prep area for food. So that's definitely going to happen. That, that will happen. All right, bathroom door is done. Bathroom door's in, handle's in. So that works. We still haven't sealed the edges to the bathroom yet. So that's kind of done. Okay. Um, door has to fill for the water, which is obviously on the lock because in a lot of situations that's on the outside. The van believe you or not, but uh, not in our case. Um, there's the door for the cassette. We we've, we've just gone for a normal door. That gives you an idea of that. Okay. Right, so that's that situation. Alright. Uh oh yeah, I didn't show you the TV. TV sits in the corner on the bed area. So that's our second TV position. Um we're not sure if we're gonna carry two TVs, because in reality we don't watch a lot of TV when we, we go away. Um and you wouldn't want to. But we've got the second TV. Um, we'll probably just have one TV and just move it between the two positions for convenience. All right, so we're, we're kind of nearly there, folks. Uh, we're not far off. I am looking forward to doing the garage, though. I've got to admit, that's a man thing, though. Is. But um, as you can see, we're not far off. We're doing okay. The cupboards was the biggest issue for us. Oops, the cupboards were the biggest issue for us because um, it looked a mess with, with nothing there. We took it out um, and it keeps the wife happy because all she's worried about is the holiday. All I'm worried about is getting this build done. And uh, we're, we're sort of making really, really good progress. The only reason I've been able to do this is because I've had a week off work. So I've been able to chuck myself into it and get it done. Still haven't done the reversing camera yet, so the wire's still sticky there. Um, that will happen. Uh, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of getting me into that one. It's just getting through all the big jobs first, and then you finally turn around and do the little jobs. But as we all know, sometimes the little jobs are just as bad as the big jobs. Um, we're going to keep this area exactly the way it is for now. We did have plans to change it. That kind of changes on a daily basis. In reality, we're probably going to keep it the way it is. Um, we are still going to do a swivel, and I'll do a time lapse on that. Um, I record because I haven't seen any swivels being changed on a on a, a VW Crafter. But you can see why we want to do that, and if. If we do that, we are going to do that. When we do that, it will create our lounge area here. So you know the way that works. We're going to do two swivel tables. One's going to go there. And one's going to go there. At the moment, we've got a sliding table. So we're going to do two swivel tables. I think they're called a lagoon, lagoon table, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I think they're called that. Yeah, so... Uh, that's our progress so far. So, um, what I'm interested in doing is getting into the garage because I want to build the battery, the arches up. I want to build the battery tray above that. I want to pick up an extra leisure battery and secure them down. I've got to do a gas locker in there. Uh, on the other side, I've got to do a water tank. And I kind of want to do some side storage. But as you know, I want to keep the centre of the garage area ready to transport anything that we want to transport. And be honest, um, it's quite a handy area for nipping to B&Q. Open the back doors. You're not chucking it into a camper, whatever you're purchasing. You're chucking it into a garage area. It's like having a massive boot on a state car. 
um, if not bigger. So it is quite handy to have. I, I find with these campers, if you can make it as versatile as you can possibly make it, you've then got a, a piece of kit that's paying its way in life. So not only are you having fun, it's helping your life easier by being able to carry stuff. Um, and um, it just makes it dual purpose. And and that's why, that's probably why I've gone down this road of a camper van anyway, because I'm driving around in the car, you've got four seats in the boot, or five seats in the boot. You're paying all this tax, insurance, blah, 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 blah. All right. Nice shiny paintwork, polish it every weekend. But in reality, what enhancements is that doing to your life? And I kind of looked at this and went, you know what, if this was a camper, all right, I started off on a T5 and then I've, I've, I've sort of gone down the road. I've done this gradually. So I've gone to a T5, loved it, and they are fantastic vehicles. We needed more space. So then I went to a crafter and I love the crafter. I think the crafter's absolutely brilliant and um and it's a really versatile vehicle but you, that's why i've gone down this route because you want something that's going to be versatile and this is versatile you want something that you can have fun in and I, we can have fun in this we can go away at any time we can disappear for the weekend we can go to b&q like i mentioned earlier if we needed to do uh, some kind of trip for materials, building. Well, I mean, we've always got projects going. Um, and as you get older, that, that fancy sports car doesn't quite mean what it does when you was younger. So you kind of revolve yourself. And that's what I've done here. Um, uh, we have a fantastic time in this. And the kids love it. So, uh, yeah, uh, enough of me blabbering on. Um, I think I'll leave it there. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, give me a like if you uh, if you enjoy the video, and um, subscribe if if you think you want to follow it. Um, but put a comment on there. Um, I I mean I'll I'll answer any comments that you that you that you. I I can't give you that much advice because I'm no expert myself. I'm sort of finding my way for this process. But if you definitely give the video a like, that just pushes the video around a bit more. And uh, it just encourages me to do a bit more. But uh, thanks for watching and I uh, appreciate uh, everyone tuning in. Thanks. Bye then.